This is why I'm a genius. Let me explain. Today I'm going to try and get free snacks inside of a movie theater. The plan? To fake my girlfriend's pregnancy. Bruh. My first step was to buy a hollow bowl and fill it up with our favorite candy. Then I had to tape it to her body to make sure nobody would notice. This was 100% going to work. And now for the moment of truth. We bought the tickets and... It totally worked! This was the best movie ever. Try and guess how much this bowl of ice cream costs. Five dollars? Fifty dollars? Today, my goal is to create the world's largest ice cream. This was going to be expensive. I started with my favorite flavor, oyster cream. Bruh. Growing up, my parents never let me get the flavors I wanted. So it was time to go off. The ice cream supply felt endless. I kept going and going and going, trying to perfect my swirl technique. Yogurtland, you hiring? Bruh. This was getting out of hand. Now time for the best part, the toppings. This Sunday ended up costing over a hundred dollars. The other day, I found out that if you put a ring of salt around a Tesla, it makes the car temporarily unable to drive. And that left me with the idea of finding a random Tesla owner to test this theory on. And luckily for me, there was a Tesla parked right next to me. I found my target. So I patiently waited for him to get out of his car and walk away from it. It was go time. We had a small window of time to get this done before he came back to his frozen Tesla. Once we finished placing all the salt, it was time to wait in the car and get his reaction. After waiting over two hours, oh my gosh, he's coming, he's coming, he's right there. He was finally coming back to the Tesla. I've never seen anybody so confused. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo, he's going to the car. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. He's literally not gonna be able to drive. Wait, what? It doesn't work? This is how I win at everything. It all started when I was playing basketball alone because everyone thought I was bad. I was lonely and sad, but then it hit me. I was about to change my life forever. The plan was simple. I was going to paint this basketball with the darkest black paint known to mankind because it absorbs 99% of all visible light and detail. In other words, this ball will be invisible. This is totally working. I can't even see the ball. In the game of basketball, you always have to know where the ball is. So this is the ultimate trick to win every game. Nobody will see this coming. Not even me. My friend Holy keeps stealing all my prime, but every time I ask him about it, he says this. Hey! That's my prime! What are you doing? Nothing, bro. What are you talking about? That's mine! I need to catch him red-handed because there's no way he's telling the truth. The plan? To booby-trap my prime stash and hire my friend to pie holy next time he attempts to steal my sacred drink. But when I went to drink some prime after my workout, my friend thought I was holy and accidentally pied me in the face. I am bro! so sorry. Wrong person! Bro. Time for phase two. The instructions were simple. To sit and record. Nothing could go wrong. Until I watched the footage myself and saw this I now know that I cannot trust anyone what happened to my prime time for phase three to sit there myself only one problem I fell asleep after sitting there for hours and holy ended up taking all my prime so when I woke up all of it was gone no no my prime Today I'm gonna find out if it's actually true that a lighter can last up to 50 minutes. I bought a new lighter and started the timer to find out Timmy's lifespan. Yes, I named it Timmy. Bruh. We started off the day with a nice meal and then a workout. We even read a book. Timmy loves books. Bruh. I decided we needed to do some yoga, but I soon realized how tired my hand was from keeping this spark alive. So I decided to get some tape to help out. And after carefully observing Timmy, he started to look really bad and ended up passing away before the 50 minute mark. I guess lighters don't last that long. Today I'm gonna figure out how many steps are on an escalator. How many steps could there be? 100,000? 20 million? I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out. Bruh. My first thought was to stand still and try and count the steps one by one as they were moving. And that did not work. I then tried walking up and down and counting, but every time I thought I had the answer, more steps would appear over and over again. Bruh. This seemed endless, but then it hit me. If I put a piece of tape on the first step I count, I would know how many steps are on the escalator. This was totally working the answer was near no I was about to give up I was crushed until I thought of my best idea yet to google it how many steps are in an escalator 50 mystery solved Bruh. Oreo roulette oh 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 oh, oh. 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 oh.
This is how you get a free burrito at Chipotle. I recently found out that if you order a bowl and ask for double of everything, they will give you enough food in that bowl for two whole burritos for only the price of one. So today, I'm gonna put that to the test and see if that really is true. Once it was my turn, I ordered a bowl and two tortillas on the side. I then asked for both white and brown rice and half chicken and half steak. I proceeded to get double toppings on my bowl as well. Did ordering double of everything actually end up saving me more money? Well, it was time to get home and figure this out. And for the moment of truth, it totally did. This burrito was heavier than this five pound weight. I am going to create the ultimate drink by mixing together 25 different sodas. So I gathered all the most popular drinks in the world and began mixing. I was off to a rough start, Bruh. but nothing was gonna stop me. I am more focused than ever. I kept mixing and mixing and mixing, and the number of drinks kept going up. Like this video if you've had any of these sodas. I was so close to being done, and finally the drink of a lifetime was complete. Now that all the sodas are mixed, it's time to taste it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, yo, this is amazing! I can't believe I got away with this. Every restaurant has rules posted outside stating no shoes, no shirt, no service. So today, I'm gonna put that to the test. I started with no shoes and wanted to see if this restaurant would give me service. And they totally did. Now it's time for the real challenge. No shirt, but still get service. So I did the obvious. I hired a professional body paint artist to make it look like I was wearing a shirt, but I'm actually not. Let's see if this works. Hi. Thank you. Can we please set a table for two? Of course, no, please. Perfect, thank you. So far, so good. I ate at the restaurant and nobody noticed I was shirtless. Well, except for that one guy. I was hanging out with my shoddy and I noticed that she had this weird attraction to Fiji water. I'm gonna get a water. Okay. So when she got up to go get a snack, I chugged all of her Fiji water and replaced it with Arrowhead water to see if she was a true Fiji water fan. I carefully placed the Fiji bottle in the exact same spot. And when she got back from the kitchen, she had no clue. You know that's not Fiji, right? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I switched it out. We're done. How many free things can I get on my birthday? First stop, Dunkin' Donuts. Since it's my birthday, can I get a free donut? Sure. This is awesome. <laughs> Whatever I get for free, I will be giving back to the community. Up next, I headed to Starbucks. Today is my birthday, can I get a free drink? Definitely. I was getting birthday wishes all day. Now on to our next location. I went over to Chipotle, and they gave me free chips and guac. And even Domino's gave me a free pizza. And just when I thought I couldn't get any more free stuff. Bro, what if? Should I ask? Uh, you have to. I saw a Lamborghini. Since it's my birthday, can I take a ride in your Lamborghini? Sure. No way it actually worked. This was the worst day of my life. Today I woke up super hungry and then thought, Chick-fil-A sounds fire. So I got out of bed, put my shoes on, and quickly ran to Chick-fil-A. I was so excited and then realized, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. I was so <laughs> devastated and never wanted anybody else to feel like this. So I knew what I had to do. I waited until Chick-fil-A was opened again and then went up to order and said, Can I please do one of everything on the menu? I was ready to open my very own secret Chick-fil-A. There was going to be no hungry customers customers on this Sunday. So I camped out until it was the next Sunday and got to work. I set up the table, grabbed all the Chick-fil-A, and I even had my own custom Chick-fil-A uniforms. Within seconds, we already had customers. We even had a guy who wanted our drive through I'm a good one, okay? How much do I owe you? It's free today. You're good. We'll see you what? later. This is awesome. And even a dog. This was the best Sunday ever. Who can get to the $10,000 without getting hit? Gorilla, dinosaur, or banana? All players have to be careful because the X-Shot Skins Griefer has enough power to hit multiple targets up to 90 feet away. To start, I'm using the all-new Shark Skin Blaster. Go T-Rex! Their new air pocket darts go further, faster, and are even more accurate. Oh, let's go! X-Shot's incredible printing technology makes these skins all incredible. Now I'm using my favorite blaster, the Apocalypse. All right, Banana, go for it! The X-Shot Skins Griefer range comes in six different epic skins. Bruh. Yo, he got so close! Go, Gorilla! Where is he? Choose different, choose X-Shot Skins. 
What happens when you leave a car covered in money in public? I have no idea, but today we're gonna figure it out. We started by covering my Tesla in dollar bills one by one. This was taking way too long. After four hours, it was finally time to place the last dollar bill. Now it's time to see how people react. But there was just one problem. We still had to drive the car into public. We could risk losing all the money on the way there. So this left us with no choice, but to send it. Bruh. Everyone was staring. I knew that once we got to the spot, it would be absolute craziness. We parked and instantly people started taking money. We were losing dollar bills by the second. The car was getting swarmed. Even a kid took some. It was time to move to our next location. This spot was even crazier. The car went from being completely covered to almost empty within seconds until the security guard rolled up. Luckily, I was able to bribe him with some of the $1 bills. Hundreds of people had taken money off this car. And before I knew it, all the money was gone. Today, I got amazing news. McDonald's is now giving golden burgers from their secret menu if you have a burger tattoo. And this got me thinking. I was able to fake my way into getting a free Subway for Life card. So this should be a piece of cake. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist, explained to her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic looking burger tattoo. Then I found the nearest McDonald's and it was time to put this to the test. I waited nervously in line until it was my turn and and asked, I heard that if I have a Big Mac tattoo like this, I get a free Big Mac. Is that true? Will it actually work? They called out my number and it came out with a special box. No way! It's a golden burger! How many layers of tinfoil can a human get through? One is nothing! Five! Yeah! Oh my god! Five was close, now we got ten! Now time for twenty! Let's do this! Oh, whoa, that was whoa. close. 50 layers, I'm pretty nervous about this one. Let's do it. Oh, whoa. Bro, this is thick. A right. hundred layers, here goes nothing. Whoa. That counts. Next, we have a thousand layers of tinfoil. Oh boy, here we go. What is on so I was scrolling on my phone and saw all my friends were doing such cool stuff over the weekend. Like traveling, partying, driving supercars, and even meeting their favorite YouTubers. Bruh. Missing out on everything. My problem? I don't have friends. Bruh. I didn't get a single text this weekend, and I was bored out of my mind. I knew what I had to do. Make everybody jealous. So I rented a Hollywood movie set to fool people into thinking I was taking a private jet across the world. Alright bro, get off me. Get off the then I set up a green screen so I could convince people that I landed in Paris. Just made it to Paris, guys! Yeah! My plan was totally working. Everyone was believing I was cool. This was the best day ever. Even my dad called me. Hey, dad. Are you in Paris? Yeah, yeah, I just got here. It's incredible. That's funny because your location says you're home. And just like that, my plan fell apart. My phone started blowing up. Everyone knew I was a fraud. What I learned? I will never be cool. How big am I? I'm actually 5'10", and today we're gonna find out how many bottles of Prime it takes to reach my height. One bottle. This tower was already getting tall. I wonder how many it's gonna take. Five bottles. Six bottles. <sighs> From the top. Bruh. Seven bottles. How is this stay? This tower is getting tall. I'm still taller than it. Hurry up, it's falling. Okay, ten bottles. Oh. Oh, it's hard. No. So apparently, it's impossible to draw this shape. It's actually scientifically proven that this is the only shape in the entire world that is impossible to draw. So I had to try this myself. The only rule is that you cannot lift up your marker. Bruh. I was losing hope that I could figure this out on my own. So I had to bring in some backup. Luckily, all my friends have an IQ of one. So all together, we have five. Bruh. Just like it's impossible to draw this shape, it's impossible to hit the like and no. subscribe button at the oh, same time. Oh, oh, oh. Whoever can draw this shape also wins a thousand. Shutters tried. How do you mess that up? Bruh. Annie tried. <laughs> you guys are terrible at this. Tori tried. And finally. Guys, I got it. How many pieces of saran wrap can a human get through? <laughs> yeah. One is too easy. Five. <laughs> yeah. oh, That's a unit. Five was not that easy, and now we got ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Fifteen layers. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Oh, 
50 layers. Let's get it. Oh my god! Oh my god! It won't hold me! I have a massive crush on this girl named Hannah. And last week, I tried to be smooth with her. So, do you ever think we'll be more than friends? Yeah, Tomber. If the world was ending. I was devastated. But then that got me thinking. What if I convinced her that the world was actually ending? So that I could finally date the girl of my dreams. The first part of the plan was to invite her over. Hey, once we were on the couch, I turned on the TV, and it was time for the moment I had been waiting for. So, I gave my friend the green light. Command has detected the launch of 12 nuclear what? missiles aimed towards the mainland United States. The world is oh, 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 what should we do? Bruh. It was totally working. How could this plan possibly go wrong? Until... Wait, what? The video ended. You said it was the only way! I had the worst birthday ever. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to rent out an entire theme park for my birthday. So the first thing I did was call Disneyland to see how much it would cost to rent the park for the entire day. That will be $8 million. That wasn't happening. I did the next logical thing and tried to get a regular ticket. But everything was sold out. So I then did the next logical thing, which was calling up one of my friends who owns a theme park and begging him. And we got the yes. I invited all my friends and told them the great news about how much fun we were going to have. As soon as I got to the amusement park, I couldn't believe my eyes. This place was huge. My friends had to be here any second. So I waited and still nobody showed up. I don't think anybody's coming. But I wasn't going to let that ruin my day. So I went inside and went on every single ride and played every single game there. I was exhausted from my day at the theme park. So I decided to go back home. I was a bit sad that my friends didn't show up. But then I got to the Airbnb and saw this. <laughs> They all surprised me with my favorite cake. This ended up being the best birthday ever. Instead of me thinking, For $100, can I have your dog for 24 hours? It's not my dog. Anybody for $100, can I have their dog for 24 hours? No. Excuse me? For $500, can I have your dog for 24 hours? For $500? Yeah, for $500. Sure. Really? Okay, well, I'll take the leash then. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you in 24 hours. Good luck. Sounds good? Yo, we actually got some- Did he behave? Yes, he did. Yeah, he was awesome. Thanks. Yeah, of course. All right, I'll see you later. Trying not to cry. I'm gonna miss him. A hundred pin bowling challenge. Let's do this. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. That does be safe. Fifty-one. I saw that. Easy one hundred. No. Wait. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? 21. What are you doing? You have to pick those up. Bruh. Trick shot. Take two. Oh. No way. Oh. 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 69. Bruh. I'm going to LeBron James and Bowling. Today I'm gonna figure out how many licks it takes to finish a lollipop. Ever since I was a kid, I wondered what this answer would be. So I got right to work. This started easy and actually quite enjoyable. But after a few hours, my tongue was in extreme pain. But I wasn't giving up. This took me weeks and some of the most extreme mental willpower and determination. I licked, licked, and licked, and even licked some more. To find out, it takes exactly 47,302. How many pumps does it take to finish a bottle of soap? Well, lucky for you guys, my schedule wasn't looking too busy. So we're gonna find out. I knew this challenge might take weeks or even months. So I named our new little guy, Calvin. Calvin and I were gonna do everything together. We started by cleaning my table, which then led me to cleaning my phone and even my car. That one kind of took a while. Bruh. I knew Calvin wasn't gonna survive until Halloween. So I got our costume early this year. Don't we look great? Bruh. After Calvin wrote me a sweet note, it was time to wash my hands from all the crazy work today. It took exactly 452 pumps to finish the bottle of soap. Today I got the best news of my life. Free subway for life. It'll cost you a 12 by 12 inch tattoo of a foot long thug. So I did the obvious. I called a professional body paint artist and was given very specific instructions to pull this off. Number one, shave your chest. Number two, pay me a thousand dollars. After both of these were complete and the sandwich was on my stomach, it was go time. Okay, so I heard online that if you have a subway sandwich tattoo, that you get free subway. One second, I have something for you. This car gives you free subway for 
Oh my gosh, dude, no way! How many pieces of toilet paper can a human get through? Let's go! One is too easy. Four! Let's go! Yeah. Light work, baby! Thirteen! Run out! Run out! Yeah. Forty! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Yeah. A hundred layers. I'm honestly pretty nervous about this one. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I made that! A thousand layers of toilet paper. I feel like I'm about to play some football. Let's get it! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's literally holding me! The other day, I had the world's most expensive gold steak. And this got me thinking, is there actually a difference between the most expensive steak and a $1 steak? Well, today I'm gonna find out. I ran over to the nearest steak restaurant and brought my $1 with me. I scanned the menu and quickly found out that the cheapest steak was over $1,000. I contemplated giving up on this challenge. But then remember, I have nothing better to do. So I went to the 99 cent store and found my $1 steak. I then got home and put it in the microwave. As I waited for it, I had to mentally prepare by doing yoga and becoming at peace. Was this steak gonna taste like absolute garbage? Or was it gonna be as good as that gold steak I just had? One way to find out. The steak was now ready, and now for the moment we've all been waiting for. This was amazing! How many balloons does it take to make an iPhone float? Well, I guess more than one. Three? No. Six? No. Ten? Not even close. Maybe 15 will do the job. 15 balloons. Boy, I was wrong. At this point, I was unsure if this was even possible. I increased the amounts of balloons by increments of five. 25, this has to work. Whoa, 30 balloons. Oh my gosh. I was determined to find out how many balloons this would take. 35 balloons, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it's going down. 50 balloons. Oh wait, my gosh. Wait. Yo, it's <laughs> Let's go! I bought a new pair of white shoes and decided today was the day to show them off. But then, the unimaginable happened. My shoes! Food waster! After trying to get them professionally cleaned, and using thousands of dollars worth of machinery to try and clean the shoes, yeah. I had to accept that they were goners. It was time to move forward, so I got a new pair of white shoes. This means I have to protect them at all costs. So, I went to hire some backup. I had the U.S. Marines on the case to protect my babies. But right when I thought nothing bad could happen... WAIT! You saved my shoes. I got you, bro. No! This is an oxygen bottle, which I bought for $20. I thought oxygen was free. Whatever. Yeah. Today we're gonna find out if it's actually useful by doing as many push-ups as I possibly can in 60 seconds. I began by starting the timer and doing as many push-ups as possible without any extra oxygen supply and guide. Ugh. 32. Push-ups done. Now it's time to see if this thing actually works. Oxygen time. I started my timer and used the oxygen as needed. Would this improve my performance? Oh, gotta keep going. I was exhausted, but able to keep going. My 60 seconds were up, and I got... Woo! 84! So there's a bunch of secret Disneyland myths, and today we're gonna bust all of them. There is a myth that Disneyland has special air vents that smell like desserts in order to make people hungry and buy their food. So we sniffed around and found this. Dude, this literally smells like cotton candy. Myth confirmed. There is a myth that Disney has a basketball court inside Matterhorn Mountain. So I found an employee and had to ask. Is that true? That is true. Really? There's actually one in there? Yeah. The next myth is that if you give a Disneyland employee a churro, they'll let you cut the line. If I give you this churro, can I cut to the front of this line? I'm sorry, I can't, man. No? Okay, well, myth busted, but at least I got a churro. Today, I'm gonna find out if a candle really does burn for 40 hours. This one started off easy. I mean, after all, I just had to light the candle and wait. Little did I know, after a few hours went by, I started to bond with the candle. His name is Jimmy. Yes, I named him. Bruh. In order to pass the time, we started doing some bonding activities, like making eggs, painting pictures of each other, and just spending quality time together. After a long day, I decided it was nap time. And after we woke up, we got ready for dinner at my favorite restaurant. But then, the following day came. I knew Jimmy's time wasn't much longer on this earth. The label said he only burns for 40 hours. It started to hit me. I was going to lose my best friend. His flame was looking faint. And that's when I heard it. Jimmy burned for over 50 hours. So I guess candles really do burn for that long. 
Today I am going to find out how many strokes it takes to finish a piece of chalk. I have committed myself to finding the answers to useless information that nobody wants to know. You're welcome. I knew this was going to take all day, possibly all night, but that's okay. I have nothing else to do. Bruh. I chalked, chalked, and even chalked some more. I was so determined to get you guys this answer that I even ran out of room on my chalkboard and started chalking my door, my Xbox, and even my car. Just to find out, it takes exactly 11,382. This is a Starbucks, and around the corner is another Starbucks. Today, my goal is simple, to start some beef. Hi there. Can I just have something really fun? Starbucks A was taking this serious. They clearly didn't want to lose this battle. After patiently waiting, whatever they made me was definitely not on the menu. But let's see what Starbucks B has to say about that. To be totally honest with you, I was at another Starbucks down the street, and they told me that they can make a way better fun drink than you guys. I got a bone to pick with that. Yes, you do! The beef has begun. So you think that you can top them? Oh, I know it. Starbucks B had some beautiful color to it. Some might say the perfect shade of pink. But Starbucks A had quite the visual appeal. There can only be one winner. And I'm gonna have to go with Starbucks B. Perfect! So I was hanging out in my living room and I came across the craziest video of somebody playing with their PS5 inside their Maybach. And then I remembered, I have a Maybach. Well, something like that. So I grabbed my PS5 and ran over to my car as fast as I could. I put the PS5 down, made sure it was safe and plugged in all the wires. For the moment of truth, it didn't work. What could be wrong? Two things. This isn't a Maybach and I forgot to plug it in. So I bought a thousand feet of extension cord to make sure this would work. And for the moment of truth, it worked! Oh my god! This is one of the worst rated motels in America. Out of 10 stars, it got one star, warning people to never stay here. But today, I checked in and went to go see my room. Oh my gosh, dude. No way this is actually a motel. The bed sheets had weird stains. What is that? The water was brown, and oh we even god. found two cockroaches in the shower. Dude, no, 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 no. We need to leave right now. We have to stay here. No. He was right. I had already paid for the room and the morning breakfast, so I had to stay the night. Once I woke up, I went to grab the breakfast, and this is what it was. Bro, I I'm not eating that. We're so today, I was in the bathroom, and I went to wash my hands. I began to wash them aggressively because they felt super nasty, and now they were super soaking wet. So I went to dry them and saw this. This made no sense to me. Bruh. Who would do such a thing? I looked in the trash to see if I could find something to dry my hands with, but there was nothing. I was extremely frustrated, but then thought, could I be getting pranked? I instantly started looking around the bathroom for hidden cameras and found a, a very angry old man. Once again, so sorry about that, sir. Bruh. But this wasn't going to stop me from getting my hands dry. I had an idea. The Flappy Bird technique. Still wet. But then, it hit me. I instantly started drying my hands in my beautiful hair. With my rapid movement strategy, it totally worked. My hands were dry. Today, I am going to the worst rated restaurant in my city. My goal is to leave a five-star review for this one-star restaurant. But the only rule is, I can't lie. Seeing the one-star reviews online, or the police helicopter circling the building, it was safe to say, I think this might be my hardest challenge yet. Walking in, I thought this place didn't look so bad. They even had a chair to hold the door for new customers. Oh, how polite. I was then seated and asked for a Coke. But they brought me a water. However, Coke is unhealthy, so they were just looking out for me. One star. It was not time for some food. They had pizza, sushi, roast chicken, but I decided to go with a simple meal. My utensils didn't really work, but I guess eating with my hands is more fun. This tastes exactly like my lunch from school. Definitely a star. And finally, I went to the bathroom and it was decorated with fine art all over the walls, which gives this place total character and charm. So, uh, star, time to get out of here. The best star of them all was meeting all my fans. Go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, the time. Okay. Two more pops up first! Two more pops up first! Oh my god! Dylan's in the lead! Dylan's in the lead! Okay, one, 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 one! Oh no! Oh no, Topper! Don't get left behind! Don't get left behind! Oh my gosh! Go! Go! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay! Okay, let's go, let's go! Oh my god! 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 So as I was about to shower today, I remembered something. I'm more of a bath type of guy. 
And that got me thinking. It takes 5,437 Doritos to fill a bathtub. I wonder how many tablespoons of water it takes. I got right to work. And let me tell you, this was taking way longer than I expected. And then it hit me. The drain was open. So back to square one. After doing this non-stop for what felt like a lifetime, well, except for that one break, I was exhausted, but so close. So I pushed myself and found out it takes exactly 26,352. I was having the best day ever until my phone died. I had no way to copy, uh, I mean, create my content. Yeah. But then I realized I have this, a solar panel phone charger. Both my phone and the charger are dead. And the only way for me to get home is Uber. The sun is already charging it, but I need to get closer. Then I got an idea. I went to the nearest lifeguard tower as fast as I could, but it still wasn't charging fast enough. And then it hit me. I had to get as close to the sun as I possibly could. And now for the moment of truth. Oh my God. It's Working. Oh, oh my god! god. I, got, I got it. Oh, oh no, 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 Recently, I sold my Tesla, and I was so excited because I got paid in all cash. But after looking at the money long and hard, I started to realize it doesn't look very real. I was losing all hope. But that's when I remembered a trick to see if money is actually real or not. This is a real $100 bill, and this is 100 I got for selling my Tesla. I got a toothpick and tried to put it under the blue part of the $100 Hold bill. Hold on. Let me, let me try another one. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. And now time to try the 100% real bill. And for the moment of truth... Oh my gosh, it's working! Oh no, it worked! That means all this money's fake! Hey, super random question for you guys. When's the last time you've been to Disneyland? 38, 38 years ago? Years ago? So yeah. Well, I actually have two extra tickets with me today. Do you guys want to come with me to Disneyland? Seriously? Yeah, seriously! Wow. Magnanimous of you. Yeah, you guys want to come? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, come on, let's go! Wow. Go for it. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> What'd you think of the ride? Man, that was great. I only had to change my underwear two or three times. Here you go. Of course. Thank you so much, Topper, for today. Really? It brought back so it's many a lifetime of memories in one day. Of course, guys. I feel like 99 again. Today, I am magnet fishing with the world's strongest magnet. There are tons of videos on the internet of people finding crazy things in large bodies of water. I went to the ocean with a 400-pound magnet to try my luck. And nothing. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. So I tried the famous cowboy technique. After countless of attempts and almost losing the rope, I felt something heavy. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this. I pulled as fast as I could with all my might. And finally, oh today I found a sign for a missing dog named Nibbles with a $50,000 reward. And I had to do whatever it would take to get the 50, Bruh. I mean, return the dog to its rightful owner. So I went to the first place a dog would run away to, the dog toy store. But Nibbles was nowhere to be seen. I then realized I was moving too slow and headed to his last known location, the dog park. Upon arriving, I realized this was going to be much harder than I had expected. I made a few trips around the park and carefully observed each dog, but still no nibbles. I was starting to give up until I found this. A note with Nibbles' name on it, on the back of a Dobrik's pizza receipt. So I went to Dobrik's and found another dog that wasn't Nibbles. I was getting discouraged, but wasn't ready to give up until I received a notification that Nibbles was found three years ago and I wasted my entire day. Oh, 
Today I am going to find out how many strokes it takes to finish a Sharpie. This may sound crazy, but the internet says a Sharpie will literally never run out. I beg to differ. I took this Sharpie everywhere I went, and I mean everywhere. I was honestly starting to believe that the internet may actually be right. For the last few weeks, I've spent a lot of alone time with the Sharpie, and honestly, I think I'm gonna miss him. Because I found out it takes exactly 2,386! I flew on the worst rated airline in the world. Online, there are thousands of reviews of flyers absolutely hating it, saying the plane was filthy, the flight attendants had terrible attitudes, and there was even horrible turbulence. Once I got on the plane, I noticed it looked damaged, and it was super uncomfortable and hot. So I tried the AC, and it was broken. When I got to my seat, I saw a huge mess that wasn't Bruh. even mine. And the grossest thing ever. A piece of chewed up gum with hair in it. I went to the bathroom and realized they had no toilet. Paper. There's actually no way. Can you keep it down? The good news? The flight is over. The bad news? They lost my back. Today, I'm gonna figure out how many licks it takes to finish a jawbreaker. Honestly, this took me weeks to work on. My tongue feels like it's about to fall off, but I wasn't going to give up. I've already found out the answers to some of the most commonly asked questions a human has. Like how many tablespoons it takes to fill a bathtub, how many Doritos it takes to fill a bathtub, and how many licks it takes to finish a lollipop. There is no way the jawbreaker is gonna defeat me. And after putting my tongue through absolute torture, it took me exactly 56,000. 302. According to the internet, it is impossible to tear a sheet of paper more than seven times. <laughs> Challenge accepted. I grabbed the paper, studied it, reminded it who it was messing with, and got to work. After the first few tears, I was getting pretty confident I could tear this more than seven times. But suddenly, the paper decided to toughen up and wasn't budging easily. I was giving it everything I had. I wasn't going to let the paper beat me. So I picked things up a notch. And after the strength the Spider-Man mask gave me, I defeated it. Starbucks always gets people's names wrong. So today we're putting that to the test. I went into the Starbucks and the worker asked me this. Perfect. What's your name? Topper. As I waited for my drink, I thought there was no way they were gonna spell my name wrong. Timmy? Like Timmy Neutron? I thought maybe it was just this location. So I tried another Starbucks. This time giving them a name, they couldn't possibly mess up. Yes, Eric. E-R-I-C. Eric? Like the YouTuber? Bruh. This has to be some sort of joke. I started to lose hope standing outside my third Starbucks. But this time, I got an idea. I was gonna give them the hardest name I could possibly think of. Joaquin. And now for the moment of truth. They spelled it right! Oh! 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 Where are we? Here we go, Grandma. Oh. 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 One, go. Oh. 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 I knew what I had to do. Then, I ran out of time. Hurry up, you're gonna be late. From getting dressed to the waiting room, I was beyond nervous. Hopper, we're ready for you. I followed him to my room and sat down, knowing I was a liar. Hey, Topper. Ready for your checkup? I can't do this. I have to tell him. So, have you been flossing? Like you promised? Of course, Dr. Gabe. I'm ready. Okay, let's take a peek. I was in too deep and didn't have the guts to tell him. And in just a few seconds... Oh. Doctor, it's not what it looks like. You should leave. The lesson today, never forget to floss. Oh! No! Ah! Oh! Oh my god! No! Ah! No! Yes! Oh yes! my god! 
I'm gonna take this notebook into a fancy restaurant and act like a food critic to see if they treat me any differently. I made a reservation at a five-star restaurant and kept a low profile for the first few minutes. They weren't paying much attention to me, so I brought out my secret weapon, the notebook. The waiters are talking about me right now. Since I took it out, they have not stopped checking on me. Okay, thank you. The main dish that came out was their famous steak, and it was amazing. So of course I had to take my detailed notes. Once I asked for the check, the head chef and the manager came out with tons of complimentary desserts. Is this stuff even on the menu? This is special made for you? After I had all of these amazing custom desserts, I opened the check and couldn't believe my eyes. The entire meal was free. Today, I am building the world's largest pizza. Eric invited me to help him break the previous world record for the world's largest pizza, which was 114 feet. And I'm gonna figure out how many slices of pizza it's gonna take to beat that record. This was gonna be a piece of cake. Or should I say, pizza. <laughs> we started by putting thousands of slabs of dough together, adding the cheese, pepperoni, and buckets of red sauce on the entire thing. <laughs> but after 15 hours of nonstop work and pizza making, I found out it took 82,352. I flew on the world's most expensive airplane seat that cost more than $100,000. The inside was amazing, and my seat was huge. They had two flat screen TVs, a salon with everything you need, and even a snack basket. Once it was time to order food, they handed me a menu with some delicious options. May I please do the steak, eggs, and an iced tea, please? While waiting, I checked out the bathroom and found this. I'm literally taking a shower on the plane. The food was then delivered by the nicest flight attendants, and I even saw- I think I see the pilots eating sushi. Chill. Sushi. After dinner, I was given a pillow and a blanket and decided to sleep the rest of the flight. The only downside? I'm down 100k. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you walked up to a millionaire's mansion and asked to sleep over? Look that kid on TikTok that wastes food. No, 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 no. After 10 hours and almost getting in, Hola. me puedo dormir en tu casa. We still couldn't get a yes until this house. I've actually seen quite a few of your videos. Really? Yeah, yeah, quite a few. Do you mind if I sleep over here? Come on, come on in. This place was incredible. It had a volleyball court, a golf course, and if that wasn't already cool enough, they had a water slide. The owners were so nice and even gave me the master bedroom to sleep. Today I'm gonna be busting mints at the world's most expensive theme park. So for this first one, in Harry Potter world, we all know about their famous butter beer. But if you ask for the... Can I please do one for me, Wizard? They bring this out. Oh my gosh, dude, no way. Myth confirmed. <laughs> Next in Simpsons Land, I heard that you can trade a massive donut to one of the workers and they'll let you cut the line. Is that true? Yes, thank you so much. Myth confirmed. I couldn't even believe this final one. In Jurassic World, there is a myth that all the dinosaurs on the ride are made of real dinosaur bones. So I had to ask a worker. Not impossible. So yeah. Myth confirmed. Today, I'm gonna be trying Disneyland's secret foods that nobody knows about. So for this first one, you have to ask for the galaxy swirl in Star Wars Land. This wasn't even on the menu. Let's try it out. Oh my God. What was that? This is amazing though. And then in downtown Disney, I asked for, can I please do one mystical Mickey? Oh my gosh. How is this possible? And it was the coolest drink ever. Now for the weirdest food I ever tasted. Can I please get one of the pickled corn dogs? And check this out. Dude, there's literally a pickle inside.